our first step is to check our image that we are going to place on our product on Zazzle. For this tutorial, we are going to be making a mouse pad for Barbie the Bee. This it visits visits Sister Lynn's Beehives book. I'm I'm going to open the folder on my desktop where I have my images saved. I'm going to check for a JPEG image because I wanted the image that's going to, that's filled a mouse pad. If I only wanted the outline of an image, say a character from the book like Barbie the Bee, I would want a PNG image. So before I upload my image, this is as well. I'm going to open my image in Photoshop. I'm, I'm going to press image, resize, and and just to look at the image size and make sure the, revol the, rev the resolution is 300 pixels per inch or 300 ppi once I know that for sure that my image is ready to upload to Zazzle I'm going to seek out the product that I want it to upload to Before you add the, your image, make sure to log in. Log in is BACS Media Lab and ask the lab director or Dr. Ellen for the password. We're going to click the button that says add image. Now I'm going to invite you to watch some of these tutorials on how to manipulate your, your images on their products. I encourage you to watch all of their design tips. You'll find them by clicking on design tips. So let's start designing. This area is called the design pod and it takes you into the design tool. I'm going to add two images. One is the background with pink polka dots and then an image also of a French bulldog from my computer. Make certain the advanced tools box is checked in the upper right hand corner so you get a more robust set of options to work with. To see those options, you need to click on the design itself. Here I'm clicked on, and now I've clicked off, and the extra tools disappear. I can change the size of the dog by using the scaling buttons here, or I can grab hold of any corner of the design and pull in or out to manipulate the size. I recommend that you turn your guidelines on so you can see how your image or design is going to print. Try to keep your design within this dotted green safe area or your design may get a cut off when the product is made. The blue line is the print line and that's where we trim the image. And the red boundary is the bleed line. You'll want to extend your background color or design to this line to avoid any white edges appearing after the trimming process. Okay, I can use a special filter if I want. I can crop the image. I can make the image fit or fill within this art view area. Let me use a different image to better illustrate what I'm talking about. Phil takes the image and fills the entire art view all the way to the bleed line. Fit takes the longest edge and elongates that edge to either the vertical or horizontal print line. Fill, fit. I can free rotate the image by grabbing here, or I can put in a specific percentage that I want to rotate. Now let's say you want to add another component to the design. You can change the order or layer of how they appear. Let's move this one behind the other. Go to Layer, Order, and move Layer Backward. Or you can arrange Layer Order by dragging and dropping objects in your list of designs. That you can turn the grid lines off and on to help with placement. There's also smart guides that display when you are on the X and Y axis.
In our case, we want to distort to distort the background color. No, we want to add a background color. We want to add the background color to distort. So that we don't distort. So, so that we don't distort the image. Join us for our next tutorial. Join us for no, stop. Join us. Join us for our next tutorial on how to um, post your product for sale. Okay. Join us for our next tutorial on how to post your product for sale.